Living with coronavirus. Life in these countries started to return to normal. Some European countries have begun gradually removing the limitations they have been applying for weeks to make life return to normal while the coronavirus outbreak continues. Italy and Spain, where the new type of coronavirus epidemic is the first and most common in Europe, is one of the countries aiming to reduce the daily dead and case increase and gradually bring life back to normal. Dot. In the fight against COVID-19 for more than a month, the two Mediterranean countries, which have taken control of the increase in the number of dead and the number of cases, are working on a national scale and in the European Union EU, to correct their economic and social systems suffering greatly from the epidemic. Experts attribute about 35% of COVID-19 deaths in the world to be seen in Italy and Spain, to take late precautions, to lack diagnostic tests, to increase the elderly population in both countries and to the socialization culture. The slowdown in the number of new cases after Italy saw the summit between 969 and the 27th of March in Italy and 950 and the 2nd of April in Spain accelerated the return to normal discussions in two Mediterranean countries that do not want to experience any further losses. It will not be possible to return to normal life completely without a vaccine. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez and ministers, who use the word many times, are also looking for ways to minimize the economic and social losses of the virus. Spain, which has been implementing a state of emergency OHAL, since the 14th of March due to COVID-19, has been on the job in some sectors that did not have to be necessary on the 12th of April after the economy closed its contacts between the 28th of March and the 11th of April. While construction, heavy industry, production-oriented SMEs and small tradesmen are working again, shopping centers, restaurants and cafeterias, places where all collective events are held, are kept closed. The government states that the state of emergency, which should be extended every 15 days by law, will not end on April 26, but will be extended once again until mid-May. In Italy, which has been living the COVID-19 emergency since February 20 and has been implementing strict quarantine measures since March 10, Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte extended the tight quarantine measures at the beginning of the month, while the number of cases of the transition to the phase 2 with the virus decreased. He said he was connected. Conte, while extending strict measures until the 3rd of May, is stated that the second phase will start on the 4th of May in Italy. With the relative decline in the number of cases in the country, it was allowed to open bookstores, stationeries and shops selling products for newborns yesterday in 14 regions. According to press information, the Conte government is preparing to allow the opening of many venues from courthouses to restaurants, cafes and bars within the framework of mandatory masks and social distance rules. The situation of Italy and Spain, whose economies were negatively affected by the COVID-19 epidemic, was reflected in the latest predictions of the International Monetary Fund IMF. According to the IMF estimates, Italy will pay the heaviest price of COVID-19 in Europe. Italy is expected to contract 9.1% this year and unemployment will reach 12.7%. On the other hand, 4.8% growth is expected next year. In the country, where billions of euros are lost, the Italian Confederation of Industrialists Confindustria, called on the government to start reproduction before it's too late. In the IMF report, another country that will be affected economically by COVID-19 is shown as Spain. It is anticipated that the total shrinkage experienced in the economic crisis in the country between 2008 and 2013 will be seen this year, the economy will contract by 8% and the unemployment rate will increase to 20.8%. While nearly 2 million people lost their jobs in a month due to the negative conditions created by the health crisis in Spain, it is stated in the analysis published by some research institutions that the loss caused by COVID-19 in the country's economy is in the range of 10 to 20 billion euros. In Spain, nearly 3,500 people who have violated the bans have been detained since March 14, when OHAL was implemented, while fines, 100 to 3,000 euros, have been imposed. While the Spaniards can go out of their homes to go to work only with the document they get from their workplaces, except for the pharmacy, market or hospital needs, they have to obey the curfew in all arbitrary situations except moving their dogs near the home. Primary, secondary, high school and university education, which is interrupted throughout the country, is tried to be done in limited hours over internet applications. According to the Ministry of Interior data, in Italy, where people went out with their permit documents, criminal proceedings were made about 2,893,941 people for violation or misrepresentation of the quarantine. In the capital city of Rome, a woman who said that she took her turtle to the air was fined 400 euros. 
It remains unclear when the educational institutions which have been on holiday since the 4th of March in the country will open. The opening of the schools is not mentioned in the phase defined as stage 2. I personally think that the opening of schools can be left to the next school year at the moment, but the Minister of Education and the government will make this decision, said Franco Locatelli, President of the Council of the Council of Higher Health of Italy. Said. Educational institutions are currently trying to continue their classes over the internet with video conferences. Norway's priority is opening schools. Starting from April 20, restrictions will be phased out and kindergartens will be opened. A week later, education will be resumed until the fourth grade in primary schools. Our goal is to ensure that all schools are held before the summer, said Prime Minister Erna Solberg. We've taken the virus under control by joining hands. Now we will gradually remove the restrictions. We will do this slowly, cautiously, without rushing, Solberg said. Ischgl, the famous winter sports center in Tyrol, Austria, was said to have played an important role in spreading the virus to other European countries. Austria has announced that it will implement a different method of removing restrictions. Prime Minister Sebastian Kurz said that Australia will begin to resurrect after Easter. Small shops, DIY stores and stores selling garden supplies were reopened yesterday. Starting May 1, all shops, shopping malls and hairdressers will start to serve. Restaurants and hotels are planned to open in mid-May. Kurtz stated that all these measures will be implemented with strict security measures, and that the danger of coronavirus has not passed yet. Those who think the situation is under control are wrong, said the Austrian Prime Minister, citing Singapore, where the number of cases started to rise again.